Welcome back, Pokemon fans. Angel of the Night here. We are back again with another viewer battle, and today's battle is up against Blover Gaming. Now, we actually decided upon a single battle, and that's exactly what we're going to do. So, I actually managed to bring back a Regulation A team that I had way back in the day, and uh, we're going to lead off here with the Oricorio, and our opponent is going to lead off here with a Glamora. Now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go in for the Calm Mind. That's going to boost up our special attack as well as our special defense. And, of course, here comes the Power Gem from the Glamora. That's actually going to be super effective and dishes out a ton of damage. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go in for the Revelation Dance. That's going to actually make some serious contact over onto the Glamora. How unfortunately, though, we are not going to be able to pick up the KO. And uh, that Glamora is going to knock out the Oricorio with another Power Gem. All right, the next Pokemon that's going to come in here, I kind of went through my team and was debating on what I wanted to do. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in Haxorus. Now, of course, at the very beginning of Scarlet and Violet, I didn't add any nicknames to any of my Pokemon. Uh, but this is essentially Isabelle at her finest. So we're going to go in for the Dragon Dance here, and Haxorus is going to boost up its uh, attack stat as well as its speed. If you guys have not used a Dragon Dancing Haxorus, you must be living under a rock, because this Pokemon is amazing. Uh, in comes the Mortal Spin that is going to poison our Haxorus, which is a little bit unfortunate, but not really going to affect us much here in this battle. Now, of course, we are going to go in for the Dragon Claw. That's pretty much the next play that we're going to do. Uh, I could have maybe gone for like an Iron Head or something else along those lines, but I really didn't think that they were going to swap out the Glamora. Uh, so the next Pokemon that's actually going to come in here is a Pokemon named Aqua, and that is going to be an Azumarill. Okay, now Azumarill is a Fairy-type Pokemon, so Dragon Claw is not going to affect that Pokemon whatsoever. We do lose a little bit of health there due to the um, Toxic, or the Poison rather. And this is kind of where I'm going to go in for the Terrestrialization. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, when I did the Terrestrialization, I have two of these teams. Two exact identical versions of this team with different Terra types. And I actually thought I was actually a Terra Steel uh, Haxorus, which... Uh, to my surprise, I'm not here in this case. I'm thinking to myself, oh my god. If this Iron Head does not make contact uh, <laughs> or does not flinch, uh, I could be in a huge heap of trouble. But uh, we actually did manage to pick up the flinch there, and we get a second turn of Iron Head. And we managed to pick up the KO onto the Azumarill, which is pretty fantastic. I'm very happy by that outcome, and of course that flinch I think was very, very lucky. Uh, we are losing more health here as we go. The poison is slowly draining our health. And the next Pokemon coming in is going to be a Pokemon called Terence. Now, Terence is a Skeleturge, and of course, I'm expecting this probably is a starter Pokemon. But uh, here we go with the Earthquake that is going to be able to pick up the KO onto Terence. Obviously, super effective ground move onto a Fire-type Pokemon. Uh, so, not really a whole lot of an opportunity there. Um, so, that's pretty pretty fortunate for us. So we actually had two really lucky KOs, because if that Skeledurge managed to get the Torch Song set up, uh, it could have been a very, very difficult play. Next thing is, we're up against Godzilla here, which is the Vax Caliber. I was actually almost expecting an Ice Shard, but uh, there was no Ice Shard in sight, so we actually managed to get our Dragon Claw here, and Isabelle is just ripping right through the team here. Just as I would expect, just like the old Gen 5, Gen 6 days, uh, Isabelle's running wild, brother. <laughs> Anyways, next Pokemon that is going to be coming onto the field is a Pokemon called Palm. And this is actually a Palmot, if I'm not mistaken. And those things tend to usually run Revival Blessing. Uh, they usually have one uh, PP of that, and uh, they can revive one Pokemon in the match. However, this is not going to be faster than Haxorus, and uh, we actually end up getting a KO off onto Palmon. Okay, and as you guys can see, the Toxic is slowly taking away Isabelle's health. And, uh, you know, I'm pretty sure we have one shot left with, uh, with Haxorus here. Uh, so in comes Masker, and I believe that's a Toad School. So pretty much at this point, I have to either go for the Dragon Claw or the Iron Head. Now, I think because we're Terra Dragon, I think Dragon Claw was the best choice. And it actually was. Uh, we managed to pick up the KO onto the Toad School. 
And that actually leaves Haxorus fainting due to the poison. Not very many Pokemon actually made any kind of contact to it, so I'm pretty glad that Haxorus had a great run this turn. Uh, usually Haxorus doesn't see this kind of action right away, um, but uh, the last and final Pokemon is going to be Glamora, and uh, my Pokemon I'm bringing in is Dash Bun. Now, of course, uh, the reason why I brought in Dash Bun, I felt a little bit bad for the running wild with the Haxorus scenario, uh, and Glamora is a Poison-type Pokemon, so I thought maybe, perhaps, it might be able to knock me out or be able to do some damage here, so I kind of wanted to see what I'd be able to do with Dash Bun first. Now, this is a trailblazing uh, Dash Bun here, so I kind of figured that it would be an interesting play to try to boost up some speed stat, kind of like what I did with the Haxorus. Uh, went in for the Mortal Spin here, super effective, and of course, uh, gets the Toxic set up onto the Dash Bun. But however, we do have the Rocky Helmet that is going to be able to pick up the KO, and that means GG Blover Gaming. Thank you very much for the battle, and I look forward to battling you again in the future. Take care, have a good one, and peace out.